What's up, everyone, and welcome to Rate My Tone, the highly successful video series that started with just one video ago. Uh, it's not really a series yet, but it can be a series that uh, might be a force to be reckoned with in the future. I released my first Rate My Tone video a week back or so, and it was a good test to see what you guys appreciate and whatnot. So I think I'm gonna change it up. The series is gonna be called Rate My Tone, just as before. However, I'm probably not gonna rate your tone. I'm gonna tell you if it's good or not, and I'm gonna give you pointers of what to change, uh, and so on. But I'm not gonna rate it. I'm just gonna rate everything six out of 10, basically. But the idea with the series is that you send me clips of your recorded guitar on YouTube, I will listen to it and let you guys know what I think about it and also if there's anything you need to do to improve on your tone. Before we begin, tone is subjective. What I think and consider being a good tone might differ from what you guys think, okay? Just keep that in mind and let's not hate today. Thank you. Let's start with Laura Lindmay and it's from Asunder with Ola. I think this is a great guitar tone, but I'm gonna tell you what makes this so kick-ass that it is, I mean, it sounded kick-ass. Did I say that? No, it sounds kick-ass, well done. But I think it's very important here to mention that the bass guitar is doing a lot of work in this clip right here. I think it's the bass guitar, man, that's carrying all of this in this mix right here. If you try and listen to the guitar tone, either left or right, can't really hear, it's pretty, a little generic maybe, I would say. The bass tone is sick as f though, and that basically carries everything to a whole package. That just shows how important bass guitar really is, even if you don't want to think so. <laughs> you know, because the you know, annoying bass bass. I didn't say that. It is actually half the key of getting a sick ass mixed guitar tone, is to have a really prominent and sick sounding bass guitar. The guitar tone is not the winner in this clip right here. It's the bass guitar that's helping the rest and making everything sound awesome. Does that make any sense? Yes. That was a good clip though. That's from Laur Lindmay. I would probably spend more time on the rhythm guitars than this. And uh, you know, there is still room for everything. So you can basically get a real distinct guitar tone as well. Mixed with this type of bass guitar. It, it, it will work right here. It sounds good as it is, but you know, the guitars, they could definitely need a little bit of edge. Okay, thank you. Well done. Next up, we have Catacomb, official guitar playthrough. Signal Chain Custom Halo Mirror 7, Randall Satan. Sick. Mesa Cabinet SM57, UA Apollo Logic Pro X. Let's listen. Let's listen closely to this intro that never ends. No, it's coming. That sounds like a Satan, all right. I don't know, it just makes me happy to watch this. I can hear the Satan, all right. That's definitely the Satan. I would probably say that this guitar tone is a little bit scooped, but I think it works well with the type of mix and the type of style of music that you're doing. Uh, in this case, I would probably, as mentioned in the previous clip where the bass was very prominent, I would probably work more on the bass in this one just to fill in that grindy gap in the center. I would imagine that would make, I would imagine that would make this mix really pop out because the guitar tone is really good. But the bass is just really not there. It's just like this really hollow thing in the center. No, it's supposed to be like bang, bang, bang. It's supposed to hurt, okay? Yeah, man, this is cool. Well done. This clip really shows that, I mean, it's more about what type of metal 
you're playing, if it's death metal, black metal, or you know, gent or progressive metal or thrash metal, it really depends on what genre you play, how much mids you would scoop out of something. I think it sounds... <coughs> In this clip the guitars are scooped, but I think it fits really well. So well done. Next up we have Wrath Sinful, he's using a BC Rich Warlock with a Vader pickup, bass BB preamp, crate blue voodoo, holy shit! Those old things. Custom quad ST 4x12, uh, Celestian G12 P8, microphone is aimed at this cab. Let's say what microphone it is, is that a SM57? Let's just listen. That's a cool collection of guitars, man. Alright, first thing I want to say about this guitar tone, and you can see it in the video actually, is that I think that the, uh, the, the microphone is too much off axis on the speaker. The center of the speaker is about here, and he's having it pretty far out, so you're missing sort of the center cone. And by having it as off axis as this, you get a very much darker tone happening. So you can definitely move that in a little bit towards the center, no harm's gonna be done. The other thing I would do about this guitar tone is basically, there's nothing wrong with the distorted character, but I would probably add an overdrive in there, if that makes sense. Just to, you know, give it a little bit extra saturation. Because now it's... You have the distortion, it's just a tiny bit flubby. Do I have an overdrive here? Alright, I found a pedal. This is a Duality uh, DX pedal, but it's basically... But it basically works as a... Uh, focus on my face, focus on my face, focus, focus, focus on my face, focus on my face, focus on my face, please, focus on my face, yeah. So what I would suggest is to get an overdrive, just like, you know, the Maxon OD808, like an Ibanez Tube Screamer or something like that. There's even like the Boss Overdrive, the SD1 or something like that. Get one of those, plug it in after your guitar into the preamp of the amplifier, set it to something like this where you have the gain, on zero, volume at max, because you want to create a clean boost into the amplifier, basically pushing your signal going into the amplifier. And then you have an EQ or a tone knob, you can set it somewhere between 12 o'clock to like 3 o'clock to max even. This will give you a little bit extra push. It will saturate the tone a little bit and make it sound a little bit more chuggy, if that makes sense. But as always, that's also very subjective if you're into that or not. So you can do it with a little bit of flavor, but I would definitely add an overdrive to this tone right here. But other than that, man, well done, good tone. Let's go. Next up, we have Leonardo Santos. He's using an Epiphone Les Paul with Seymour Duncan SH5 and a 59 Alien Monster 50 watt EL34 Boss SD1 Boost. I just mentioned the Boss SD1 Boost in the previous. Uh, hello. Alien Cabinet 2x12 with V30 G12 T75, Shure SM57 on the V30. Okay, let's go. Yeah, man. I'm not sure what type of amplifier this is, the Alien Monster 50 watt. Sounds very uh, rectifier like. And this type of sound is definitely like it's the character of an SM57 microphone right there. I like that. That sounds great, man. Yeah, I mean, here we have another case where, you know, the, ma the guitar tone is great. It's actually really good. But the bass guitar in the center is just like... Moo, 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 moo. It's just like a bass frequency, a low bass frequency. Uh, personally, I would just add some grind in there, man, to that bass guitar. Because this guitar tone is perfectly fine. You can elevate this whole mix by just adding a really cool grinding bass in the center. But yeah, I really dig this tone, this is great. That's Leonardo Santos for you right there, well done. I spat on myself. Alright, last but not least we have the Armchair Sessions. 
he's using a $100 used Squire Strat $100 used Boss Katana and a 50 watt used SM57 so there you go, that's 250 bucks worth of gear right here what is up? let's check it I mean, obviously not a pro with this type of tone and you know, this is just not my forte when it comes to guitar tone but I think it sounds good the only thing is that I hear that it's clipping you know, like an audio interface clipping uh, you can hear it on the low end side otherwise I think it sounds good, man maybe just, you know, dial down the gain on your audio interface a little bit This guy's just chilling, man. I mean, there you go. That was 250 bucks worth of gear right there. It sounded pretty awesome. It was not metal, but it sounded good. So there you go. That's rate my tone for today. As you might have seen, I'm trying to concentrate more on real amps, real cabinets, real microphones. A lot of you guys are sending me, you know, your plug-in tones, neural DSPs and STL and whatnot, and your Axe FX or campers, and you know, that's all fine. But you know, I want to listen to real amp tones in this series. I will here and there bring in a good tone of Axe FX or something like that, no problem. But the fact is that the majority of you guys out there are sending me plug-in videos, which is understandable. There's a lot of people using plugins nowadays or you know, digital modeling but uh, I'm trying to switch it up a little bit okay? so if you have a tone that you want me to check out rate and maybe make a comment on put a link in the description of... no, put a link in the comment section of this video and maybe I'll feature you in the next Rate My Tone <laughs> WHAT?! I had a great time those were some sick ass tones right there hope you enjoyed this video bye <laughs>